My name is Eric Conover, and I'm going to take you on a tour of this luxury penthouse in New York City. Huge thanks to LG for sponsoring today's episode. Today we have the pleasure of touring the home of top industrial designer, Karim Rashid. My name is Karim Rashid and I'm a designer. To say Karim is a designer is a bit of an understatement. He is one of the most prolific and influential voices working in design today. Time Magazine has described him as the most famous industrial designer in all the Americas. Karim is known for bold and vivid colors and has been dubbed the Prince of Plastic. Karim's penthouse has 1,336 square feet of living space. It features two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a 357 square foot rooftop terrace with sweeping views of Midtown Manhattan. It's located in Hill's Kitchen, the heart of Midtown West. Now upon entering the penthouse, it is very clear, even in this foyer, that this is Karim's space. This gracious foyer leads the way into a classic New York City open concept living and dining room floor plan. This is an apartment that is perfect for entertaining, and it's a great space for creating, given that flexible floor plan. Another thing I love is that this penthouse has tons of natural light, with these floor to ceiling windows looking down at those iconic red brick walk-up apartments right across the street. As you can see, this penthouse has Karim's world-famous design signature touch all over it. So I sat down with him to talk about his work, this beautiful penthouse, and his insights into design. You know, I've been practicing now about 35 years. Probably only in the last 15, 20 years is when I figure out exactly what my contribution is. Because I think every one of us, we're all creative. I always have this theory, this philosophy that we all have something within us. We have to find it, in a way. Outside of finding your passion, you have to find your original fingerprint. In a way, innovation and technology are symbiotic with design. They're not inseparable. That these objects and these things or these spaces become very much emotionally responsive. In other words, it elevates their well-being. They feel better. They feel alive. And I realized for many years that I always wanted to make people feel alive. How do I make that space better, meaning that it take advantage? take advantage of light, take advantage of, again, circulation, take advantage of where I place the infrastructure. One of the main points of the, of the space here, of the living room, obviously, is this huge 77-inch <laughs> uh, G10 new LG TV. It's an OLED TV. It comes with a lot of artwork, so your TV can stay there as a kind of a picture frame. Here, this is all my work that's, that's on here now, because usually what I do is I put art everywhere. You know, all these are like quite well-known artists and I wouldn't take up a whole wall for a television, you know. So I had a painting here, by the way. And then I realized it is a painting in itself. That's the beauty. The beauty of this is that not only do I can put up my own paintings, but I can look at all of LG's paintings, actually, that come with the television. You know, so there's Monet and Soro and all these famous uh, paintings, right? So it's quite beautiful. And the fact that I guess it's so flat, it starts to feel less like television. It doesn't have that kind of intrusion into my living room like a big object now becoming almost like the wallpaper. But what I love about it is the flushness of it. It's like, it's so flat because the technology of the OLED doesn't need a, a backlight screen as old televisions did to be brighter. The sound of this is so amazing. I don't need a sound bar. The sound is so impressive, I'm blown away, frankly. So I don't see any wires, you know, it's seamless. And even with the remote, it's kind of seamless. I don't need any other remotes. I love it, so it's quite amazing, actually. From the living room, the apartment flows into this beautiful open kitchen with this waterfall-edged, oversized island really defining the space and breaking up the kitchen from the rest of the home. Along this far back kitchen wall, you can see this modern poured concrete staircase with stainless steel and glass railings, which will go up a bit later in the tour. This kitchen is minimal yet functional with custom Italian cabinetry, a gas cooktop, and a wine cooler. I really love the functionality of this center island. It could serve as a place to have your morning coffee or if you wanted to really cook up an impressive meal, which can then be served in the dining room right across from this kitchen. Moving into the dining room space, Karim really made great use of the staging with this couch and that pink column to divide up the living space from the dining room, which has seating for four and more than enough room to entertain and enjoy a nice meal. Towards the end of the kitchen galley area, we have the home office, 
which is a functional, minimal desk, perfect for checking up on business. Right around the corner from the home office is the guest bathroom, which is a very decent sized room, complete with a deep soaking tub, shower, and oversized Italian porcelain tile. From the bathroom, we head across the hallway to the guest bedroom. Now this is a very typical second bedroom for a New York City penthouse apartment, and it's staged with a full-sized bed. Now in New York City, vertical storage is everything, and this guest bedroom makes great use of the space with built-in floor-to-ceiling storage. Karim also uses this guest bedroom as his home gym, with the treadmill off in the corner to stay fit during the colder months in the city. Leaving the guest bedroom, we're going to head across the kitchen towards the entry foyer into the master bedroom of the penthouse. The master bedroom is about double the size of the guest bedroom and it's staged with a king-sized bed right in front of his 55-inch LG G10 TV. The 55-inch G10 is a great fit for a bedroom and it really blends with the minimal style of his room looking like a piece of art hanging on his wall. The master bedroom also has more than enough storage with this built-in wall closet across from the dresser and this artistic mirror. Towards the back of the master bedroom is the ensuite bathroom. This bathroom comes complete with a deep soaking tub and a separate glass shower. In the center of the bathroom is a backlit, full-length mirror set against bright pink paint. The master bathroom also has a double sink vanity and more of that timeless, oversized Italian porcelain tile. Heading back out towards the entryway, we're going to head up that poured concrete staircase, which leads us up to a private 357 square foot rooftop terrace with panoramic views of Midtown Manhattan. A big thanks again to LG for sponsoring this video. I want to thank you for watching this video. Comment down below if you want to see more New York City penthouse tours. And with that, I will see you in the next episode.